everyone, this is Janice. Today I'm going to show you how I did this look. I dyed my hair this smoky pink color and I also gave myself the butterfly cut. Thought I'd get brave. So if you'd like to see what I went through to get to this stage, just keep watching. I have a big beauty day planned for me. As you see, I got my hair up in sections and no makeup. I want to throw some makeup on, not a lot, just so the rest of the video I don't look so dead. <laughs> I'm going to dye my hair today. And then after I get through dyeing it, I'm going to cut it into the butterfly cut. And I just thought I'd go ahead and um, share this with you, my little routine here. I really like this product. I got this at BoxyCharm and it's called the Olexer, Ola Henderson, oh Helen, oh how, oh Hendrickson. What it is, it's a banana bright face primer, vitamin C and banana power inspired pigments. Of course it's vitamin C. I really like this. I use it almost every day. So. I already put my other face uh, skincare routine. What I do is just slather this up. Um, it has a little bit of a tint to it, as you can see. Hopefully, you can see. I am my I'm man. This is really going good. I'm in my bathroom, so this is nothing professional. No. I haven't really, I kind of set up my filming area, but I've only filmed one video since I've been here. I've been in Illinois for going on three months now, and I'm still trying to get myself in a routine of filming. So I thought, I'm just going to start. Today is Sunday, March 3rd, and I'm just winging it. Just on top of my head, nothing planned. This is what I want to do to get myself prepared to do a video. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to film what I'm doing to get all pretty to do a regular video. Okay? And like I said earlier, I'm just going to put on some makeup just to make myself look a little um, healthier. So it's not going to be a lot of heavy duty stuff because I'm going to have to take a shower, wash my hair, so it's going to come back off and then I'll redo another. Um, you know, better look. So I'm just going to use tinted moisturizer right now. I've got the Wet n Wild tinted moisturizer. I've got two different colors. I'm finding that as I get older, I should be using a little darker foundation that I've been using. So I want to use my other up. So I have, um, let's see what I have here. There we go. Does it tell me? Yeah, light. I have light and I have medium. I have light and I have medium tan. Okay, so I'm going to use a medium tan. It's not very dark. To me, it's like perfect for me. <clears throat> so you should be here. This is not using a brush or something. It's all fingers. I'm just going to do this quickly because I want to get going on re dyeing my hair. As you see, I've already got pink in it. And I'm going to do parts I missed, hopefully. Uh, it looks a little better, like all under here. And you see, oh my gosh, so I'm going to work on my back today. I'm not trying to go solid pink. Um, just pink, some pink in my hair. And I'm doing it myself. It's DIY beauty care. It's all I can afford, but I have fun doing it anyway, so. It's fun. I think I just said it's fun. I said how many times I'm going to say fun. <laughs> and if you're new here on my channel, my name is Janice, pink and silver lady. That's why, hence I have the pink and the silver hair. I love the color pink. It's my very favorite color. I like pink on me. I've had lavender and purple and blue, which I do love the lavender, but I thought I'd just stick to pink. Okay, 
there's a little better okay just enough color where it looks like I'm dying I don't have professional lights on I just have my little beauty lights up there for the from the bathroom you know, little bulbs which I really like it's a cute little house the bathroom is super tiny the house is super tiny but it's perfect for me just me and my two Pomeranians live in here and I work a partially full-time job. What I mean by that, I work four days a week. Um, anywhere up to seven to five each day. Some days, not quite so long. Like, I have to go in Tuesday. I'd be there by, well, my first dog is 7.30, so I should be there no later than quarter after seven. And then if I, I schedule throughout the day. So I may be there as late as four or five, hopefully not, but lately I have been because the doggies are coming in very matted. Of course, people say, well, my dog, I brush my dog every day. <laughs> it's not matted. <laughs> For those who have fluffy dogs and you get upset the groomer because we shave them down and you swear you brush them, I believe you brush them. However, you have to get down into the skin like you would I mean when you brush your hair you just don't do tips at least I hope you don't because you're gonna have to run that brush and comb all the way to your skin and down you do that same for your pet you can brush it people think that's more gentle not necessarily the comb show you oh oh i got a snake oh i have to work on that you can work on it with an, the brush or you can work it with a comb and keep on working on it yeah same with your hair if you got long hair thick hair like me i i have to have two types of tools to get the snarls off same with your pet all right enough about your pet i do love pets and i will talk about them on this channel I am a professional dog groomer of many, many, many years. Uh, I count the years I've known how to do it, over 50. I count how many years I've done it professionally, probably around 40, because I did take time off to do different things. I worked at General Motors, building trucks and cars, and I've waitressed and I did all that, and I, I kind of dabbled in grooming also when I did that but I've just done grooming grooming nothing else it's not been quite as long as 50 years I've always had another job with it but hence still no I'm still a professional dog groomer all right enough preaching about dogs <laughs> it's that time of year spring people bring them in and they want me to wave my magic wand and make them look beautiful and keep their long hair Unfortunately, they're super, super tight. I have to get under that. A lot of times my blades won't go, and I have to work and work and work and separate and separate. And it's exhausting, exhausting. I'm very tired at the end of the day. And that poor little dog is tiring to them, too. But I try to be as gentle as possible and make it a pleasant, a pleasant experience. So, yeah, and I do take my time. That's why I'm there so darn long, only doing four dogs, because I take my time. Because dogs don't need to be brushed through and, and injured in any way, or, or uncomfortable. Not necessarily injured, just uncomfortable. Alright, I got that on. Let's throw a little blush on real quick. I've been loving my new e.l.f. camel blush. I have two different colors. I'm just going to throw this one on. I... Just one little color and just gonna use my fingers because my brushes are in the other room I had them in here but I had to put my tripod up here on my cabinet I thought I had the right stuff to use my phone I don't you know it took me <laughs> about two hours to get set up this yeah I'm so unorganized when it comes to my filming I've got to come up with a different solution I looked at a different house yesterday um, a little bigger, more room, so I can have an actual filming room. I love the house. It's not ready yet to live in, but I hate the yard. 
Uh, it's down, more downtown, which is fine to me. I don't care about that. It's just the yard is wonky. I could live with it. I'm still on the fence. I'm going to take this. The basement is unusable. So, but I don't really use the basement. It has two stories. It's a very old house. Oh, it's got all kinds of nook and crannies. So I'm really thinking about it. But we're going to wait and live here a couple more months because that house is not ready. It's, they're still renovating it. The person in it before destroyed it. And it happens when you're a landlord. You, um, they move out and they don't care. They're so inconsiderate. And these landlords have to fix everything and that's very expensive. So when she likes to do a really good job, I don't blame her. And if I run it from her, she knows I'll take really good care of it. Oh, I like I'm taking care of this one. But I'm still on the fit. I might just stay here because it is smaller and <clears throat> more manual as far as, well, upkeep. But the other one would be easy. I don't know. I really like that house. It's got a nice big living room. It's got a nice big dining room. It's got a bay window. And it has a kitchen. It has like um, like an opening so you can see into the kitchen. And um, it has two very teeny tiny bedrooms, but all, all I need a bedroom for is my bed, and closet, you know, hang clothes, my dressers. Um, my, my, could go upstairs because it's two stories. It's got like one, two, three rooms up there. One could be a walk in closet, one could be a, a little desk area so I could work on, uh, you know, whatever. Go up there and have a desk and do stuff. I don't know. Crafts, that's good. And uh, only downfall up there, no air conditioning or heat. But I have an excellent infrared heater. I can get back from my other house. I have two of them that work perfect because the small rooms are heated fine. And then a window air conditioner is all I need. I wouldn't be up there every day. Vice versa, if it's too hot, I would just want to go up there. My, I'm used to not living in an air conditioned house, so that's not a big deal. I am using the L'Oreal Fiora. It is the smoky pink. I really wanted a blush pink as a rosy blush. I don't really want a bright pink. There's other colors. There's other brands I wanted to try, but they're bright. Like I love to try brand, Brad Mondo's, but it's a bright pink. I don't want to go that bright. You know, so we're just sticking this. This is a permanent hair color, not semi-permanent, not temporary. It's a permanent hair color. Has three times the highlights, multifaceted shimmering color, gentle deep and deep conditioning. I've used this a few times. It has different colors. My hair, um, it's kind of like the middle one there. But it, it I'm gonna set on for an hour. That's a little much, Janice. I'm not gonna let it do that. I'm maybe 30 minutes. That's it, because I already get color in it. But I've had compliments, even though it's not done that well. But this is what I'm doing, and I will fast forward this because I know this is going to be boring. I cut a lot out too. But I just wanted to hop on here and share what I am doing in my life, like I promised, and I haven't done. I'm not going to worry about the roots because, um, yeah, they need to be dyed. I'm not going to leave it on that long. My hair is so thick, so it's easy to miss it. Of course, I can't see what I'm doing. I'm having shoulder surgery. It's really hard to see my back. I'm probably going to go out of frame quite a bit. But I have to see what I'm doing. I'm probably thinking, this is boring. Why am I doing this? Well, I just thought I'd talk to you a little bit, too. But I'm going to speak to this. I'll talk to you later.
out, got on the phone, so I think it was on another hour, huh? <laughs> so I'm gonna take it down here and put some con leave-in conditioner in it and um, blow dry it and see how it looks. Hopefully it's, it looks a tad better than it was. From what I can remember, I watched it a couple times. I watched some other girls do it. Some did it perfect. Some did it almost perfect. But they all turned out pretty. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to try to just do the best I can. My hair is so long and this is getting away. So I'm just going to twist that up because I don't want to get loose. Okay. Now that I've done this, I'm going to do this over again. It's drying on me. Still bleeding a little bit from the the pink dye. Okay, I'm gonna go this way a little bit here. And I'm turn the backlight on there a little better. These are just regular lights that's in the house, not not a studio lights or anything. I don't have room to put those up. Then when I packed, I only brought one studio light. I meant to bring both of them, but that's okay. I do have a ring light, but I don't like ring lights. They, they glare my face, and then you see little rings in my eyes and my glasses. I just don't like it. I'd rather have my box light. Okay, let's do this, Janice. Quit talking. When you bring this down, they, he said cut quite a bit off. So, that's what I'm going to do. Um, a lot of the girls I see do it to the nose. I'm just going to go a little bit. Yeah, I'm going conservatively just to make sure I um, do this right. Okay. And I do have hairdresser scissors. They could use some sharpening, but they're not dull. I took this much off. I have a feeling it might be taking more off. Let me see. Let's get my trash can here ready. I should have did it earlier. Okay, here it is. Bed. Do I want to go shorter? Because I, I hate taking this in and out. It's hard. I'm going to go a little shorter. Why not? Good girl. Um, let's put this towel here. I don't like hair going down my sink. It clogs it up. Okay. You know, you probably can't even see. I'm not even doing it towards you. I'm sorry about that. Thick hair. <laughs> Don't 
try and keep it flat and it wants to ball up. <clears throat> I don't think that's very straight. That's the higher I go, the thicker my hair is. So I'm just going to try that one more time just to straighten it out. Okay. It is not perfect. Now the top. You want to. Uh oh. Yeah. I'm not messing with it. It took me too much time just to get this in there. But see how fat and round my pony is? You see? If I can lift this up a little bit here. There we go. See how high this goes. I could probably put it really high. There we go. There we go. Just why didn't I think of that earlier? I still can't see the top of it. I got my camera. Um with the lens as far out as it goes possible. So, it's pretty long, wow. Okay, now, I am going to do this. i probably watch that video real quick, but I am going to even it out with this. I don't think you're supposed to do that, but I am because I want to. It, you won't be able to tell it. It's just a little bit there. It's not that I don't know how to cut hair. I do. But it's, it's really hard to do it on yourself. Okay. So. Really hard. Especially my hair. Okay. What he. If I remember correctly. You bring it up a little bit. And cut it up this way not what I just did I just did that to make it I don't know I just thought I'd do it don't know why I did it <laughs> there is a reason behind my madness <clears throat> my hair has been layered so yeah I could probably take quite a bit off. Can you see that? I'm going to take a good, I think, at least three inches. I'm going to bring it down so I can see it. Here we go. I don't even care. This is coming off. It's too darn thick and heavy. It grow. My hair grows really fast. doesn't look like a short enough haircut for me. I guess I'm not doing length, am I? I'm just doing layers. <laughs> Later on, if it's not short enough, I'll just cut length off. Boy, that uneven. Ah, see there? Uneven. I need longer arms, guys. I can't see. There. That would help. That would help. help.
that's crooked as heck. No, it's not. It just, it's just thick. So this part here is going that way, you know. Let me, at least I don't think so. I think it's, I think it's even, it's just, it's laying weird because it's so round. <laughs> yeah, see, it's pretty straight. <clears throat> it doesn't seem like cut very much. Hmm, I just hate taking it down because if I have to cut more, I gotta put it back up. <sighs> but, I'm gonna see where I'm at. I'll quit complaining and just do it. My arms really don't hurt that much. I'm surprised. All right, let's see what this does. Let's see if this is gonna be short enough. Yeah, I <clears throat> don't want my bangs really long because I'm gonna be able to put them up. So I'm gonna leave that long. So that I think looks okay. You know. I'll go ahead and take this off. Ouch. You know, if you if you got delicate thin hair, don't yank on your hair like I do. I don't matter. It doesn't matter if I lose hair. I got, I got enough. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, let's see what that looks like. Does it feel lighter? Um, I feel a little lighter. Actually, it's pretty. Would never feel light. What I need to do when I didn't bring them through at work, what I think I'll do is when I go into the work tomorrow, get, see if my wallet's there, I am going to grab my thinners. I have all my thinners there and uh, go ahead and thin it out a bit. But uh, let's see here. I like parting my hair on this side. It's just just how my hair lays. I have a colic over here, so it usually does that thing pretty easily because of the colic. And then I have the colic right here in the middle of my head. I, most people, not all, but a lot of people have that. Okay. Wow. <clears throat> it's pretty. Be nice if it stays this pretty. Once I dry it, it's going to go poofy again because it's too much. You know, it does feel fair now that I'm swishing it around. What does the back look like, Janice? Okay, here's the back. I hope you can, let me see. I, I don't know if you can see it because I can't find my beautiful, there you are. Okay, there is the back. Hmm. Hmm. That was, well. It was really easy. It's just I struggle with my thick hair. But, um, as far as cutting it. All right, I'm gonna just leave that and live with that for um, a week or so. And if I think I want more off, I'll just next time I wash my hair, I'll trim a little more. Just live with this a little bit, cause I want to be able to pull my hair up. Cause when I work, I cannot have this hair hanging down. Cause I'm, and then I'm in. You know, bathing dogs and grooming dogs, so it has practical. Either I go short or I go long and keep it up. I'm going to go ahead and try it and I'll show you the final results. So I'll be right back. I want to thank you for watching, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe. Hit that like button, it shows. YouTube that you enjoyed the video and also comment what do you think 
You think I was a hot mess, but I turned out okay. And also share this video. I'm 73 years old and I am just having fun with life and my hair and my beauty routine. Thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.